Jesus went throughout Galilee teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every kind of disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon possessed, those having seizures and the paralyzed, and he healed them. He healed every kind of disease and sickness among the people. Matthew 9. We'll read Matthew 9, 35. What does it tell us? Same thing. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God, and healing every sickness and every disease. We see the same thing there again and again. Everyone who came to Jesus in faith and hope and trust received their transformation, received their deliverance, and received their healing. And in many accounts of scripture, we find that when Jesus healed a person, or when he delivered a person, what did he say to them? What did he say to them? When he delivered the person or healed the person, what did he say to them? He would say to them, something like, along the lines of, go in peace, your Faith has healed you. Your faith has healed you. And what Christ is implying when he says your faith has healed you is that it is their faith and trust in him. Their faith and trust in him as Christ, as the Messiah, was the reason that their transformation and the restoration and the deliverance was brought about. Their faith and trust in him, in Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Romans 10, 11. Romans 10, 11. What does it tell us? Romans 10, 11. Let's get it very quickly. Romans 10, 11 says, As Scripture says, Anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. Anyone who believes in Christ, anyone who trusts in Christ, anyone who follows Christ, anyone who accepts Christ, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. He told them again and again and again, your faith has healed you. Their restoration, their deliverance, their transformation their healing was brought about because of their faith and their hope in Jesus. And here's the interesting thing. That very same Jesus that we read about in the scriptures, the very same Jesus that we read about performing all the miracles and the healing and deliverance, that very same Jesus can deliver you and can set you free from every addiction and every bondage and every stronghold and every sin. If you truly surrender to him and trust him, for your deliverance and freedom. You have to trust him for your deliverance and for your freedom. Because Hebrews 13, 8 tells us that Jesus is the same yesterday, he's the same today, and he's the same forever. God is unchanging. So the same Jesus who raised Lazarus from the dead, that same Jesus who delivered the demon-possessed man and drove out unclean spirits, that same Jesus who healed the woman who had been bleeding for 12 years, is the very same Jesus who can and who wants to deliver you and transform you and set you free. And in case you are wondering if he is willing to do that for you, I want to assure you completely this morning that he is willing to do it for you. In case you are wondering if he is willing to do that for you, I want to assure you this morning that he is willing to do that for you. No matter what the struggle may be, no matter what the challenges may be, no matter what you may be dealing with, Christ is willing to do that for you. And we see the heart of Jesus in Matthew 8, 2. We see the heart of Christ in Matthew 8, verse 2. Let's read it. 
a man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. So he's asking Jesus, I know you can make me clean, but if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. So we see the heart of Jesus in this passage. He is willing to deliver. He is willing to heal. He is willing to transform. And in case you're wondering if God cares about your situation, you might be been struggling with this for months and years and decades. You might be wondering, does God really care about my situation? Does God actually care about me? He does. He does. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. What does it say to us? Christ says, he says, Come to me, all who are weary, and all who are burdened, and I will give you rest. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Not some, not few, all. Christ is extending an invitation to all who are weary and all who are burdened and all who are struggling and all who are under the yoke of sin and bondage and addiction. And he's promising, if you trust in him, I will give you rest. He will give you rest. He will give you peace. He will bring freedom. So not only does Christ want to heal us, he cares about our situation. Come to me all who are weary 